last group of people are having breakfast in the restaurant outside, so I missed out for performances. Last night the event was somewhere around here. Here we go. You can see all the way down here. That's what the kids pull is. This should be beyond Sianji life. Be like hello and good night. Believe it or not, it is exactly midnight. And what a luxury it is to be in a room with a view of the corridor outside. <laughs> you might have thought of that bronze curtain when I turned a flashlight on, but now I turn it off. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, like for now, it is all... <laughs> okay, well, just until now, there was a little bit of music going on at some place, like the event had already ended at 11. Okay. Well, yeah, that's just it. Well, you may actually notice this. It is a bit too dark here, but... I got a pen. It is another day at this luxury house-like hotel room. Oh, just what the hell is it with that corridor at night? The tone of it. So we heard that my dad has finally come back to the States. And guess what? I took this bracelet off at last. And yeah, her mom's phone. She left her phone there. All right, here we go to the bottom floor. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. Is it gonna be that satisfying? Hi, right, I just realized that breakfast is over. I was actually gonna get some vegetables here really fast. It's 10:45. They finished breakfast at 10:30, so looks like I have no choice but to wait until 12:30. So now the last group of people are having breakfast in the restaurant outside. So I missed out, and there's nothing I can do. So. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, I found a fitness center of the hotel, did a workout there, and at the end, I showed you this acoustic guitar performance. Right at the end, I came back in and found out that all of the elevators were on the fifth floor. If you're wondering why I titled it Triple Five, yeah, you may have noticed. So that rarely happens. At times, it can get really, really busy, and all of the elevators can be on the lobby in that scenario, but it's rare, it's very rare for the elevators all to be on the fifth floor or even the fourth or the third or whatever. So I'll show you another view of it. How does it look like today? Huh, no jet skiers at this time. There's plenty of birds close to the island here. And ooh, that boat. You might notice that boat as right next to these houses that's cool and the water slides it's a shame that we don't have any water slides in this hotel last night we were hearing a hell of a music come from right here where they do nightly performances and holy crap it was a jam of music well we do actually have something like that in our hotel as well but they rarely use it anyway for performances last night the event was somewhere around here you can notice where the bar is if you cross that bridge where the pool is and you get to see the bar all right guys so i'm going to take that path again that i took around this time yesterday but this time i'm going to be going the other way so another trip to the bottom floor so i just made it to the bottom floor and look there's a cat in the hotel i am out of words but actually a cat in there this is very very odd yesterday i walked right through this side of the path but today i'm gonna make it right through here so i start this from the 150 meter zone okay so this is gonna be off to a uphill start taking this path uphill for now it's off to an uphill start and from this point you can actually take a better view of what is all the way down here you can see 
that raft, you know, that raft that you can jump in to the sea and that heart, which some of these I have shown you the other day, including that swing for a can of dinner. So I'll continue walking a bit here. Woo, look, they have a tennis court. This is really, really nice. They have a tennis court, but I'm not sure if this is the way to even enter. There is always a thing called trying. Oh no, it isn't. Okay, so I'll just continue my way up this. All right, well, now it's not anymore uphill. There is another raft here, by the way. Another raft that they have more relaxing chairs. In the other raft, they had regular seats, as if you're having lunch or tea time or whatever. So yeah, it might look hidden at the moment. There is a tennis court right here. And I'm coming up to the 200 meter sign now. Oh, look, there is another tennis court. So there's actually two tennis courts as you walk through this path. So this is actually the entrance of one. So I'll get a quick view. Ah, oh, frick. Yeah. So I'll take a quick view from the, oh my God, I can actually see some part of the balcony of the lobby out there from the tennis court. That's incredible. All right, well, now I gotta get out of here. Just, oh, I tripped again. Okay, so just a moment ago, there was a jet ski boat right there. Can't see it now. <laughs> it might have disappeared, but it was cruising through that island. And there's the second tennis court, which I'm not gonna be able to get in because it is locked. But there's another jet ski. Oh, yeah, this island I'm talking about. There's one jet ski boat that was cruising really, really fast through that island. And I come to the 250 meter sign. Oh, looks like that's the end of the path already. I thought this was gonna continue a bit longer, but now we can see the jet skiers. Look at them. Wow. Okay, now I can see it a bit better from here. It was a bit blocked because of these trees. Holy crap, what an amusement. So this is the end of the path and now I'm gonna turn back. Whoa, they're still going. They're still jet skiing around. They've gone through the left side of where all the water slides are in the other hotel that is next to us. <laughs> okay. Like, it's starting to get a bit silly there. There we go. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. That's really, really cool. All right, so it's almost gonna be lunch. I, I missed out on breakfast earlier. Well, I, I, I didn't actually want to get breakfast. I just wanted to get some like cucumbers and carrots and even some fruit to see what there is. But then the guy told me that it's too late anyway. It's already been like eight minutes since I took that first clip of these guys and they're still going. Um, heading downhill now. It's almost lunchtime. So it is already starting to get a little bit wild here. And I pass it, so I'm gonna get off the path now, and I'm back outside the hotel. We got another sample in here too. This is really, really cool. Ooh, look at where they have put up their chairs. Look how they put all these up. This is interesting. I get those all the way through here. You see these two at this end, and this is how you enter the in throughout pool. Now that it is the daylight and the sun is shining, so you can actually see this a lot better than what I was mentioning earlier. How absurd it is that pen got stuck up here. The part that you get out of the hotel from the bottom floor, apparently that's where they call it Sianji Life. All the things that, you know, you can have lunch, dinner, 
can even watch the events, can even have a swim, or it could even take that path. That's why they call it Sianju Life. However, on the fourth floor of the hotel, I'll get to show you soon, you'll be amazed. All right, I'm gonna go down to four. You'll see why in round, uh, wait, what? Lobby? I press four. All right, well, I took another elevator to this floor and, hmm, it's interesting. Thought there was supposed to be like a movie room here. But I guess that's the one. So it's up to 24 people here. And I guess it, I guess nothing goes on at this hour of the day. I guess whatever that movie event is up to ask for later. So I'm gonna go back out. And nothing's working at this hour. I think this is all for the later hours. Like after 7 p.m. So around the time that the music events go on by, I'm gonna try out this elevator because it does take you somewhere pretty interesting for some reason this shows zero because if you press one then that's where it takes you to the lobby and two is where the deluxe rooms further up from the lobby so i made it to one see where that will take me until and yeah, you might notice that there's two different ways I can get out of this elevator, so this doesn't work. Fuck, they can wait. They can just wait a bit. Alright, so this actually takes me outside of the hotel. So, I don't know where all the parking lots are. It's weird. It does seem a bit weird of an outcome. That's how it is in this hotel. And look, on this side they even got the garage. But now I am going to try one floor up. This is still at zero. And now at one. So whatever was zero, like originally that would be five. So that would actually be the fifth floor. Now we go up to two. What is on this elevator? Oh, it's just, it does show the down arrow though, but like it, it shouldn't really matter this time. Like I am going to take it up to two. Hopefully that won't be any sign of like this. The other elevator messed up too. Like when I pressed four, it went up to the lobby. Now let's see which one of these it's going to open. I think this one though. Oh, okay. I was wrong. All right. So this takes it up to the higher lobby. <laughs> yeah, guys, I just made up a word, but let's see what I can view from here. They're special. So these are the other deluxe hotel rooms very clearly, but look, you got a mountain view from here. All of these villas, which are currently on construction, they are still working on all of these. This is really, really cool, actually. I can notice that the grass has been shredded. The lawn has been mowed. So you can see, oh, up here it should be the Sianji logo and as long as I don't get caught by one of the staff that would be totally worth taking some footage of this logo. Currently some cleaning is going on in one of the rooms but look at these balconies though how amazing and the Sianji logo. This is great. Alright guys so I am going to make it back now to the room. Sometimes the birds can be really really silly and act like geese in this area even though not near our pool but there is a lot of these kind of birds in that island that I talk about where the jet skiers really enjoy cruising around so I'm waiting for the elevator to come up now and I'm gonna take it to zero. And even from here I can actually see the entrance like where you can make an entrance to the hotel right away. Hold on guys, I'm actually gonna take the elevator back. But for real, what a really cool mountain view. Just a quick notice, but right in front of this house, they have a swimming pool here. This is really, really nice. All right, so now the elevator's come. We've got a zero. So where our rooms shall be. 
one, zero. There we go. So that is back to the quarter outside of the room. Goodness, it is hot in this elevator though, I'm not gonna lie. It is like I just made a toast. All right, there we go. Yeah, the cleaning and all that. Now guys, I am gonna make it first to the pool downstairs at Sianji Life, and then the one outside of the room. All right, oh. Oh, jeez, I missed it. All right, looks like that's already going up though. Yep, it went to the lobby. And again, you guys, this time right at the side of the bar. And it's just gonna be ah, great, comfortable. Ah, really, really nice place to actually get in the pool. And I am right in front of the bar, you guys. I'm sitting right in front of the bar. And you can see all the way down here, that's where the kids' pool is. See <laughs> fountain there too. Okay, thankfully my hands could reach that. And the elephant slide. <laughs> that's amazing. Wow, what they have down here, what the hell? I don't know why, but I just turned my flashlight on at this thing, but look at this. This is crazy. My <laughs> Holy crap, imagine dropping a bracelet down there. And there's the other part of that pool too. If we get into this circle, let's see what's up about that. Okay, not much, but I do admit that this is very cool. Ah, Sianji you like. Ah, oh, goodness me, I really didn't want to choke on that. And of course, the no diving sign. Well guys, now I am going to duck under this bridge. If you cross this bridge, then that's where you'll get in the bar. And there we go. I'm right under it. And that's it. Still luxury. That's why they call it Sianji Life. Once you get out of the hotel in this floor, it's amazing. It's actually a bit hard to see the lobby from this area, but you can still see the deluxe rooms. Yeah, it's it looks blocked from here. Nope, you can't see the lobby from this point of the pool. I don't think you can even see the lobby from the middle of the bridge, though we can see the lobby from some point in the path that I took earlier today well it depends on the altitude to be honest so guys that was a nice swim now i'm going to get out of this pool back from the outdoor pools and so i'm about to head to the pool that is outside of the room and i got in look at that you don't get to see the mountain that much but still a view of the trees kind of duck at this point in the pool, the view of the mountain is blocked from all these trees. But as you get along, then you actually see more of the mountains. All right, we got all the way, and here's a better view. Great. That's wonderful. Even though it might only be the bottom floor, where when you get out of it, they call it the Sianji Life. This should be beyond Sianji Life. Here I come, Sianji. I didn't talk about this earlier, but look at that. Mainly leaves in this elevator. Well, now it has started to get a little bit windy as time passes. Beautiful sunset, but it is getting windy. Well, we do have another one of these up here. Look at that. Why not take you through that? And this elevator shows you outside the lobby so this elevator apparently that one only goes up two floors this is why you gotta live the life of Sianji. presumably this door is gonna open yes it does hmm. okay this area looks to be quite different from what i thought all of these being villas by the way in the parking lot up there 
All right, guys, I'm actually gonna get back in the elevator and head back down to the lobby. It would actually be worth taking a view, but all of that was blocked by the trees and there, I'm back outside of the lobby. It was kind of fun, actually, even though I didn't get to see much. I'm still taking a hotel tour. Took that elevator on the right side of the store that they can get some donuts or some other things that you can just relax yourself on but some inflatable chairs and some snacks as well the doors were closed and i couldn't even get access to the store although there's a sign that says that it's open from 8 30 a.m to 10 30 p.m that was at 6 30 p.m when i got in there it's open till 10 30 and I didn't know what it really was. So I'm like, why shouldn't I take that elevator and continue with another piece of this hotel tour, right? Even though it's already been two days. Goodness me. Time flies really fast. It's already been two days. It was three weeks ago when I was still in Germany. I was still in the Amadeus Hotel in Hanover. Now I am at the Sianji Hotel at Bodrum. So, let's see what the time is. It's 7.27. Dinner starts at 7.30. All right, dinner time. And there's this cat right here. He's looking hungry. There's actually two cats around this restaurant. Both of them are just sneaking table after table. One hour later. Wait, those cats are really, really hungry when they come up. To hundred those tables in the restaurant and that tone again that tone of that corridor so the sun is set again and now I am heading to the music I'm gonna take this path this time Let's see where this will take me all the way until fun fact I can actually oh, well it's hard to see a place that you don't Okay, from here you can actually see it better, the sun pole. So, I'm gonna take this. Ooh, look at that. They have another sun pole that is downstairs, but they also have another elevator here. Let's see what the point of taking that is. Okay, so I just took this path, thinking I would find myself at the music lounge, but there's some art going on there. Uh, I'm gonna take myself up. Oh, this is actually the second floor. Wow, there must be something crazy with this elevator, you guys. It's weird, but it's pressed zero. Like, look at look at that. It doesn't even show all of the segments on there. You see the digits? These are seven segments, by the way. And this door just open. And all right, those are the other rooms right here so i made it all the way downstairs it gives a similar lighting to all this but i just found myself in a completely random place now i'm gonna get back up to second floor so you see what i mean like one of the segments and you just don't get to see it this look like letter g up all until now and like, what the hell is it with this? All right, here goes the bus. And if you want to get a mountain view from here, then great. How about that? But I just ended up somewhere completely random now that this elevator is on the first floor. Let's see if this is going to be the road that I was mentioning towards the end of yesterday's video when I said that if you could take your motorbike all the way up this hill to the entrance of the hotel apparently they do have a swimming pool down there too ta-da they do have a swimming pool here too you guys and look at that some rocky edges here still really cool now i'm gonna make it my way down and hopefully it will be like i had mentioned it's gonna be a hell of a tour the noise of that water that's one other thing I really, really love about this place. They do have another parking lot and, oh, apparently there's a exit gate 
down here, but right next to that, there's the basketball court. Well, I'm not going to bother at this time. Ooh, look at that. A part of this shed has come down. What the hell happened here? So yeah, there is the basketball court. This looks really, really weird, you guys, but apparently this is not the way. Oh, I really like how this is lighted up in blue at night. So yeah, this is the pool at the downstairs level. At least some rocks in it. But I think I am not taking the right path. Holy crap, I just made it back to the outside of where our room is. This is strange. All right, so I turned out wrong. Apparently, on that, well, I am still going to take this road to enter the hotel and then go to the bottom floor of the way. I, I think there should be a way that can drive all the way from the bottom to the entrance of the hotel where the lobby is. So I actually got it from the lobby and now I'm heading to the bottom floor. One, zero. Okay, so now I'm where I should be at. Oh my goodness, man. You might hear me disco noise. Okay, yeah, if you can get to hear it from here, because like, it must be going all the way up at this island. Oh, wait, what? Is it what I'm thinking it is? All right, listen to it. Or is it just a secret, like why? There's a view of the coastline at night. I know it looks all haunted and all that. That's because the time is 9.11 p.m. And then there's another special restaurant over here. So as I just said, it's 9.11 and the event starts in 19 minutes from now. I think it's going all the way back there. I'm just gonna walk and it must be behind these fences right there. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry, it is getting really dark. Now the time is 9.12. All right, listen. Yeah, it's hard to tell where it actually is. Like if it was close by, then there would be some lights around. Oh, well, guys, I am actually gonna make it back up there it is getting really really mysterious here at this moment and here's a dark view of the coastline right up here it's beautiful though although it's already nighttime oh goodness me it feels like one of the birds are just creeping out already <laughs> all right time to take these up it looks like another bar though actually here and well if you go to the bar that is right up the pool, then that's where you should get to see the concert. Same place as it was yesterday night. Oh boy, this kid is getting grounded. I'm not 
so while all of that is going on, I am going to take this mysterious, no, not the path. That's already done and over with. I'm going to see where I can go all the way up with this road. Wow, it is filled with stars up here. Yeah, I want to make sure that I don't trip over because at this hour, it can become like a maze. There's some part of the hotel there and if I want to see the okay yeah it does look a bit blocked from here i mean you can still see the bar you can still see what a bar is near the pool i want to continue my way up all right here i go i think that was the road i took about one hour ago when i was talking about that tennis court but now you hardly see anything like it's even hard to look at that view at night and that parking lot on that side now well, i'm gonna keep going i'm not lost i'm gonna make it all the way from that music event to the lobby taking this road great lord i can even take a night walk out here too that'll be perfect and yeah not a pleasant smell at this point so my mom just said that it's at the lobby wow look at the lights hey guys the color of it you see when there's no more light it actually shows itself even better than when you look at it in the pool but i'm gonna keep going you guys now i got a uphill to walk yeah guys throughout this month the heat waves have been hitting time after time so i didn't get to do as much on my fitness but after I get back home, I am going to get back to it. I'm going to get back to work. Look at that. I even got a sofa over here, too. That's insane. But going to keep my way going. Goodness me, it looks like I... Ah, oh, I see it now. I see the entrance. This is really, really steep, you guys. But yeah, I just found a way from all the way at the bottom to the lobby taking the road all the way up there this is a store that i really wanted to get in now there's 50 minutes until that closes so ooh, we even got dolls here too i don't know what for like why they have barbie dolls in here that's weird look <laughs> you see how i just did that getting to take the stairway passing through this there is an elevator right here. It could have been an elevator with a view, but not anymore. Whew. Man, I do feel kind of sweated, honestly. Haven't walked all the way up that hill. It got really steep at the end. I really thought that there was much no way I could do, but I decided to do it the harder way. But now I'm going to take myself back to where the event is. So let's go to zero. Oh, okay. Yeah, a bit weird with this thing, by the way. You see, like, that button, for some reason, whether you touch this or not, it just doesn't do it. It looks like it got stuck. You can press this, and that still works, but this one doesn't. Okay, so we're almost there. Goodness me, I took such a challenge. I did the challenge the even harder way. Whoa! Look what kind of a bat- Oh, okay. You only got to see that for- two seconds i guess but the color of the liquid are you mad all right then guys so that's gonna be the end of today's vlog already i know it's been long but i really hope that you liked it i'm sure you liked it i'll see you guys in the video tomorrow